How has it been being in four different cities in four different days and also the emotional strain as well as the physical strain for yourself who's also been uh, probably involved a little bit more than people would have thought? I, I, I have been involved more than, than I expected. Um, you know, it, it is a strain, it is asking a lot, uh, even with just four cities. Uh, we would have liked to do more cities, but really time didn't allow. Um, so it, it is a significant commitment from, from everybody involved, from the networks, from, from the UFC, from Showtime, from, uh, from the media that they covered. Uh, but with an event like this, it was important that we you know, share, uh, share the, the sort of unique nature of the event, the energy of the event, uh, on, a, on a wide level. So everyone sort of makes the, the uh, sacrifice. Uh, you know, you go four or five days with a little sleep and a lot of air travel. Um, but I think you look back on it and we see the ripples of conversation continuing to spread you know, for days and possibly weeks afterwards. Um, and it's, it's worth every second. Sure, and uh, obviously I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't touch on the, uh, the old incidents between you and Connor this week. Uh, first time you've worked with Connor? Yes, it is. Will there be a second time you work with Connor McGregor? Um, you know, I hope so. You know, he is he's a, a fascinating individual, um, very talented as a fighter, um, but probably up there is one of the top two or three uh, most quotable, most charismatic athletes. Really put him on the same caliber of, as you know the Rock. Um, it's hard to say sort of Ali because it's, you know, he's an almost mythical figure. But his ability to command the stage, to improvise, to be funny, to be charming, to be you know at, at some points offensive, uh, and back. He is a true performer. It's, it's a skill that, that cannot be learned. I didn't actually expect uh, that some of it would be uh, aimed at me. Um, why do you think that was? I mean, a lot of people are talking about the fact that the mics were cut off. I mean, is that why? Or is there something that we don't know about, potentially? Um, you know, I, I I really wouldn't chalk it up to the mics, because you know, we, we made the effort after the LA stop to explain that, that was one of several uh, technical glitches. There were some videos that didn't play, and some music, and some more other things. It was the first stop, so not everything was perfect. So um, I think. He, if anything, that's an that's an excuse. You know, the microphone gate is, is sort of uh, overblown, um, and if it's the association for Floyd, or if it's uh, a way to psych himself up, um, a way to create you know, windmills to, to battle, um, you know, sure, well, uh, it, 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 this comes with the territory. It's fine. All right, thank you. Can I, can I just ask one question? Sure. Uh, can I just ask the boxing purist question? Sure. Please. Um, because you know boxing correspondents don't like this, they regard it as a travesty. Mm -hmm. What's your response to that? Should this be happening? One knows why it is, but why, in your view, you know, how do you answer that question? Is it, is well, it really sport? Well, I, I think if, uh, if this fight were scheduled uh, five years ago, six years ago, or when Floyd was in his prime, I don't think it would happen. Um, I think the age adds an element of risk. I think it adds you know, in his mid-30s, even uh, you know, early 30s, and Floyd was, was essentially untouchable. And I don't think you'd see that. Part of the question uh, at this point, which I think some of the fans are responding to, is what does Floyd have left? Two years out of the ring, and, and, and those two years being from 38 to 40, which physiologically are, are important years, you know, in the average man's physiology. So would it be happening at Floyd's peak? Probably not. It wouldn't be sellable. You know, I don't know. It's you know, the doubt that makes that fight. It, it is. And, and if you look at, at the most competitive fights that Floyd has had lately, I mean, you probably look at the Maidana fight. Um, we thought Canelo would be competitive. It really wasn't. We thought Pacquiao would be more competitive. It was pretty one-sided. The guy that was more competitive, you know, Marcus McDonough, um, was far from a tactician. He's a rough, tough, aggressive guy, a little bit wild. Those are all the same adjectives which you know, describe Conor McGregor. So I'm not saying he's you know, Corpus Maidana, but that's a pretty good blueprint of how to attack a 40-year-old Puerto Rico. Okay, but if you read the boxing correspondence, be it in the LA Times or New York Times, they say this is a foregone conclusion. Uh, you know, and, and we've all been around the sport long enough to know that the foregone conclusions where we are. Um, and the one that it reminds me of, Somewhat is uh, De La Hoya Pacquiao. Um, there was a tremendous amount of criticism before the fight. Pacquiao was too small, it didn't make sense. Uh, 
it was a joke. You know, certainly not the, the type of criticism uh, of Mayor McGregor, but it was similar to his one-sided. Pacquiao Horn was his one-sided. The other one, um, you know, the reality is we have a, a strong, aggressive uh, MMA champion who's much bigger than Floyd, who has nothing to lose. Floyd's got everything at stake here. So, look, I'm, I'm as much of a boxing purist as anyone, uh, but I tend to like variety in, in, in my sport. So I, I don't want to see entire card or entire sport of tactical fights or brawls for that matter. Uh, so I look at this, uh, this event as sort of like a, a summer blockbuster movie. Uh, this is Transformers. You know, um, it's it's fun. It's you know. It's mass market. It's but is enjoyable. It well, I I think you know when we get into the ring, I think there'll be no doubt because at, at the end of the day, anything can happen in that ring. Um, we're assuming that Floyd is going to be at his best and that Connor you know, won't be able to compete. I just don't think that's a safe assumption.